popular author Leo Biscoglia said in the mid-20th century, change is the end result of all true learning. In the course of researching my videos, I have experienced much true learning. And as Leo says, the end result is change. In this video, I'll explain the truth I've learned and the change that is coming because of it. Thanks for stopping by. On YouTube, I'm known as XJW Curious, but my friends call me Pete. I made my first XJW Curious video in July of 2021. The name identified me as a member of the XJW community. It also showed my insatiable curiosity about learning things. My videos examine the doctrines of the cult. My aim was merely to provide information to people curious about Jehovah's Witnesses. I wanted to expose this deceitful, dangerous, and deadly cult. I was a member of the cult from the age of eight until my early twenties. My leaving the JW cult was the result of my discovery that they were teaching me lies. As an old Chinese proverb says, A man who asks is a fool for five minutes. A man who never asks is a fool for life. I try not to ever be the fool who does not ask questions. My curiosity causes me to ask questions until I get a reasonable, logical answer. Author William Arthur Ward said, Curiosity is the wick in the candle of learning. My curiosity has led me to learn things that help me grow as a human. I researched the JW cult, and I realized that the methods that they use are not new. They are copied from an older, much larger cult. Cults program behaviors into people they normally wouldn't exhibit. That's what makes a cult dangerous. I saw this firsthand as a JW. We were taught that door-to-door -door witnessing was vital. We were trying to save people from death at Armageddon. The cult said we did this out of Christian love. Yet we were told those who rejected our message were to die at Armageddon. And we were to rejoice that Jehovah was destroying them. These teachings caused a lot of cognitive dissonance. That's why I made videos to make people aware of the JW cult. But now I realize that the JWs are a very small part of a much larger and dangerous cult. This news story demonstrates what I mean. This story is about a teenager who is beaten in school one day. The next day, the student died. Now, one would automatically connect the beating to the death, as fatal injuries often take time to kill. Yet the police, and even local politicians, seem to be trying to justify this incident. Let's start with the statement by a police spokesman on Facebook. This is the Facebook post. The post provides a bullet point timeline of the events leading up to the death of the teenager. The problems are in the last paragraph of the post. The problems here are not obvious until you read an interview with the police spokesman. Regarding the preliminary information from the medical examiner's office, the police spokesman revealed, It is not a normal practice of the Owasso police to release piecemeal information regarding the cause of death before the medical examiner issues a report. 
So why did it happen in this case? The police spokesman stated that the police reached out to the medical examiner's office to try to head off some of this national scrutiny. The police spokesman also revealed another problem with the post. Regarding the comment, a complete autopsy was performed and indicated that the decedent did not die as a result of trauma, the spokesman stated the examiner did not tell him that. That was merely his interpretation of what the examiner said. In addition, the spokesman also said the medical examiner emphasized they are waiting for toxicology. He said he is assuming that when I get that back, something's going to be there. But why would this case get national scrutiny as the police spokesman claimed earlier? The shocking truth is in the specifics of the case. And this also exemplifies the problem cult that is even bigger than the JW organization. You see, the victim of the beating in that high school bathroom was Nex Benedict, a 16-year-old student. Nex was a non-binary person. I will be the first person to admit that I'm ignorant to the term non-binary person. But I learned that a non-binary person is someone who does not feel like they fit in either of the two predominant genders, male or female. But certain cultures refuse to tolerate these persons. Nex encountered students in that bathroom whose culture incited them to attack Nex. That culture is something we all have heard of. Many of us have even been a part of it. I am talking about the culture of Christianity. Next was from Oswaso, Oklahoma, a small city of less than 40,000 people. That's the same size as the city I grew up in, so I can relate to what high school was like in a city that size. But Oklahoma is a radically Christian state. This was made clear by the comments of a state senator at a public forum. State Senator Tom Woods, who represents the 4th District in Oklahoma, made the following statement when asked about the anti-LGBTQ plus sentiment in Oklahoma. Let me warn you now, these comments might be traumatic for some viewers. Viewer discretion advised. We are a Republican state, supermajority, in the House and Senate. I represent a constituency that doesn't want that filth in Oklahoma. We are a religious state, and we are going to fight it to keep that filth out of the state of Oklahoma because we are a Christian state. We are a moral state. We want to lower taxes and let people be able to live and work and go to the faith they choose. We are a Republican state, and I'm going to vote my district, and I'm going to vote my values, and we don't want that in the state of Oklahoma. Mr. Woods apparently wants to live in a theocracy, with a government ruled by religious dogma. But the United States is a constitutional republic, governed by the principles of the Constitution of the United States. And David Magleby, Ph.D., a political scientist and dean of the BYU College of Social Sciences, said this about religion in our Constitution. On the one hand, to protect religion so that it has its proper place and an important place in our lives, 
including our public lives, but not to go so far embracing and endorsing that we deny freedom of conscience to any person, including the freedom to not believe if they so choose. Some lawmakers, like Mr. Woods, call teenagers filth because their views are different than his. Mr. Woods thinks only those of his faith should have freedom. That is unconstitutional and dangerous. The First Amendment declares the freedom of religion. But what exactly does that entail? According to Rob Boston, in his article, A Delicate Balance, citizens are free to embrace or reject a faith, and support for religion, financial or physical, must be voluntary, and all religions are equal in the eyes of the law, with no special preference or favoritism. That means Mr. Woods cannot legislate based on his religious beliefs. It is illegal. Imposing his religious beliefs on others is unconstitutional. But Christian lawmakers are constantly trying to do this very same thing. And sometimes they get away with it. Christian lawmakers like Mr. Woods are far more dangerous than the JW cult. Instead of a few million people worldwide, this affects hundreds of millions in this country alone. People need to be warned about the cult of Christianity, a far bigger and more dangerous cult. That's why I'm focusing more on stories about Christian lawmakers promoting Christian beliefs. This necessitates a change in the name of my channel. I am still a curious XJW, but my learning has allowed me to recognize Christianity for the dangerous cult it is. My research has led me to discover the truth about the Christian Bible and the religions based on it. Coincidentally, I've discovered that I actually don't believe in a God. So this will be my last video as XJW Curious. Beginning with my next video, this channel will be known as The Curious Atheist. Philosopher Mortimer Adler wrote, The purpose of learning is growth, and our minds, unlike our bodies, can continue growing as we continue to live. I hope you stay with me on this journey of continued learning and growth. Thanks for watching and take care, my friends.